Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about the IL-28 in War Thunder 1.43. Uh, it's a new jet bomber, Russian. Uh, I say the IL because I don't know how to pronounce it really. I think it's the Ilyushin, but I don't want to, well, already risk it, but you know. Anyways, max speed is 860 kilometers an hour, which is approximately 420 about 400 420 miles an hour pretty fast uh, once it reaches 4,500 meters and its max altitude is uh, 11,500 meters which is about again 35,000 feet or so um, turn times horrible it's about 49 seconds but uh, you can change that with combat flaps once they fix the bug which is causing your flaps to say uh, that well <clears throat> Once you hit 300 kilometers an hour, there's a glitch that tells uh, the game that you're going much faster. You might see it. Rate of climb is 16 meters a second, or 16 and a half. Takeoff runs 1,480 meters. Uh, trust me, with a 3,000 kilo bomb, that uh, takeoff run in realism is a very scary. Uh, four armament presets, mm, you know basic stuff. Uh, two uh, 23 millimeter NR-23 cannons in the front and then a dual turret in the back which you're seeing right now. So, uh, right now I only have the 100 or the 12 100 uh, kilo bombs so that only equals about 600 pounds? No. No. It equals 2400 pounds. Sorry. Wrong way. But still, it's not that much. But we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to bring my MiG-9 my LA-7B, my Yak-9T just to, I usually use it just for ground attack rolls honestly because it, with armored rounds it does really well. Same with the IL-10. So, I'm going to queue up and then let's see if I can do anything with this jet. Alright, so we got a ground strike on one of my uh, kind of favorite maps. It's a winter map. Really wish they'd have these in ground forces, but we're going to have a uh, 800 meter convergence, normal bomb activation, normal fuel fuel and let's go so um, right now there's a bunch of American jets flying so let's see small game uh, appears to be mainly jets so I'm going to have to be careful I'm going to drop my payload because it's arcade and uh, I can just climb on up so, again, this thing's not the best uh, turn fighter. Um, yeah, well, let's see, what else we got? Yeah, just general jets. That's fine. That's what I'm expecting. Um, level out. Again, bombing is very... Uh, <laughs> well, it's not a very grandiose adventure, pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty boring you don't get I mean the only time I do it is really to help the team which is uh, ground strikes really the only game mode I like unless if there's domination of three cap points domination of two or one just annoys me but uh, yeah bombing helps the team as long as you're not bomb brushing as long as you're actually going up we have Colorado ME262 P17, F9F. I think I saw the MiG-9 down there. Over there, yeah, my squad mate. Alright. This thing does have some firepower. I've gotten the one kill with it so far. Um, usually, I mean, you, know, you have to boom zoom with it. You can't do a turn fight with a 49 second turn time. Even if you cut that in half, that's about 24 and a half seconds. That's pretty bad, like, the LA-5 FN can turn as a pretty bad turn time. So, you, I don't think you can really turn fight with this, especially in realism, so don't do not do that. Booming and zooming is the only way to fight with this thing. The NR-23s are meant for air-to-air. -air. Uh, the IL-10 guns, not the 46, but whatever 23 mils it has on there, those are meant to pierce armor, and they can, so... Remember, NR-23s are for air-to-air, -air, I believe. If I'm incorrect, then, yeah. Basically, if the, uh, 
the guns on this are different than the guns on the, the basic IL-10. Then, yeah, because the IL-10s are meant for ground attack. The first one. The second one has quad uh, 23 mils, but those are for air to air. Why am I telling you this? Because bombing. And there's another IL-28 over there. I'm surprised you didn't try and get me. Thought I saw the MiG-9 flying towards me. Oh. Forgot to call. Even when I call out targets, it's my team just snatches them from me. So. Um, yeah, my advice in this IL-28 is just get as high as you can, as fast as you can, and then go as fast as you can. So try and get that um, 800 kilometers an hour. 700 is good, too. Um, try to get at least 10,000 meters. You should be fine. Someone really has to want to get you. 10,000 meters in a jet is the equivalent of about mm, 6,000 in a prop plane. I'm just going to see if I can throw them down and see if I can get them. Oh, lag, damn it. Another MiG-9. There's really not much to do. Um... This is just kind of showing you guys what it can do as a bomber. We're not rushing. We're not going low. We're bombing. I have a weird philosophy about bombing. I have to. I basically have to bomb like this. I can't base rush unless if it's one of those stupid like crater or Pacific hidden base. Also, I'm a little bit sick. Don't my payload and go after the airfield. Need some more altitude. I'm going to do a realism review of this, too. It's not really a plain review. It's more of just a look. IL-28. It is a good jet, though. If you if you fly Russians and you want the jets, get the IL-28. It can carry one 3,000-kilo bomb. I think that's its, its best payload. And if you don't know, a 3,000-kilo bomb is probably equal to 6,000 pounds of bombs. And it's one bomb. So if you drop it in the middle of a bunch of tanks... Just the blast, uh, the blast wave. Usually will do it. Like you don't even need to get the direct explosion. Like you don't have to hit the tank with it like you would with a hundred kilo, maybe two fifty. Uh, you know, just the blast wave will usually do it. All right, so we're gonna come around and hit the base. Weird thing is, I don't see anyone in my. Where's our base? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anyone. Was he down there and they got him? Because I have pretty high spotting skills. My pilot's about halfway upgrading everything. My gunners are fully upgraded, except for the number of gunners, because I. The Russians are like one of the only nations that don't have that many gunners on planes. Americans, Germans, you need at least five. I think for the Americans, you want six for the B-17s. Germans, I think five's the max. Uh, British, I think four is maybe five is the max again. Um, that was a perfect run. There you go. <laughs> I really can't see if there's a guy over there. Watch the bombs. Not much else to do. Again, this isn't going to do much. It's not much of a uh, payload, but... Um, you know, it's something, and it will unlock your bombs over time. And I do have my uh, reload speed, I think, to about 45... I'm going to try and get it maxed out. Or is it maxed out? I think it is maxed out, actually. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a good thing to have that. Alright. Climb on up. Uh, let's see. All you really need to worry about is if you're flying this, remember, you can't turn... Your tail gunner 
has a very wide range look you can shoot from about here you can shoot down to about there so he has a pretty wide range he has you know, pretty much anywhere behind you and pretty much anywhere above you he can hit so remember that now we're gonna turn around yes I know come on come on banking is not the best idea with this but I want to ah, shit my engines are overheating once I get back to the battlefield I will come on come on get my engines are critically <sighs> I'm gonna drop one more payload and I'm just gonna dive after their tanks um what else is there? Well, there's, there's a Sabre in here. That sucks. I hope it's one. Yeah, it's an F-86A. Never come up against any Sabres, actually. So, I'm not quite sure if, uh... If it's good or not. Never come up against one. I've only seen people fly them. In fact, I think he's dead now. Yeah, it looks like someone shot him down. Honestly, some people are afraid of making the jets, the jet jump, you know, from prop plane to jets. It's not that big of a deal. To start off by loading your first kind of bad jet, like your MiG-9, uh, and get used to kind of how it handles, how you turn with it, all that. And then, uh, you know, once you get the second jet, like an IL-28. An IL-28 need, needs a higher BR, by the way. Uh, I shouldn't be in a game like this with a jet bomber. But anyways, um, with the IL-28, you know, IL-28, MiG-9, MiG-9 late, MiG-15, or whatever, however you want to go, you know, uh, Yaks, if you're Russian, if you're American, your P-80, your F-80, whatever it is, you know, um, then take those, kind of practice with them, and then as you get better, unlock your other ones, put them in there, and you'll slowly get into fully jet games, and it won't matter. Um, where are their jet? I mean, where are their b tanks? Right there. Is that more than one, or is that just one? I need more than one. There we go. Might as well. There's no point in flying an IL-28. It's going to lose the game. Alright. We... more right there. Right? No. This thing goes really quick. He wants some of this. But I'm afraid I'm just going to have to die. Oh god, I'm going really fast. I've never gone this fast before. Probably not going to hit them, but I have to try to hit them anyways. Oh, we lost. <laughs> yep. IL-28, decent jet bomber, good, well, good, uh, good jet bomber, kind of, you know, eh, all around, would not recommend taking it purely, uh, fuselage repair takes 1300, or 13,000, about twice as much as a tier 4, um, so, thanks for watching, that's my little IL-28 video, not too informative, I think, but if you liked it, let me know, if you didn't, well, that's too bad. Um, I'm not that great at reviewing, but um, IL-28, I would recommend it. Um, I hope Gaijin fixes his BR because 6.7 is ridiculous. The MiG-9 late and the MiG-9 are both 7, and they're the, your, my first jets and most people's first jets in Russia. Why was the IL-28 6.7? I know it's not that great of a jet, but it's a jet bomber, which means it can go really high. Anyways, enough complaining from me. That's about all, the only complaints I have about the IL-28 is it's too slow of a turning, uh, it's turn time's too slow, and it's BR's too low. It's not necessarily a bad thing for pilots of the IL-28, it's just kind of an annoying thing about all jet bombers right now. Anyways, see ya.